Welcome back everyone. The iPad 9th generation just came out, so we have to go and compare it against some older iPads. In this specific case, we're comparing it against one of the last iPad 9.7 inch models, which is the iPad 6th generation in a way. Now if you want to pick up the iPad 9 or some other iPads I'd probably recommend picking up, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now on the front, there are a little bit of a different setup between these two. So on the iPad 9th generation, we do have well, starting off with the 6th gen, we had a smaller 9.7 inch you know, display, and the resolution was still great. It wasn't that bad of a panel either, it looked pretty good overall. And the main problem with it, I would say, is the amount of bezel on it. Now, the 10.2 inch iPad still has a lot of bezel on it, you know, comparatively to the iPad, you know, pros and all that. But the 6th gen iPad still doesn't look ugly, and you know, we still have the home button, we still have Touch ID, so it's really not a crazy big deal. On the newer iPad 9th generation, we do have a bigger display. So 0.5 inches taller or bigger, 10.2 inch model there. Now this panel itself is a Retina IPS panel. So it is technically a better panel overall than the iPad 6th generation, but we also have a true tone display on this model as well. And we can also get a higher brightness on this model too. So you're really getting a much better looking display and just way better display overall on the iPad 9th generation than on the iPad 6th generation. So without a doubt, if you're somebody who wants to go ahead and actually, you know, get a much better looking iPad, even though the iPad 9 doesn't look as good as the iPad Pros, it still looks better better than the iPad 6 generation. So that panel itself is much better. On the bottom, you have lightning ports on both, headphone jacks on both as well. And on the back, you have aluminum backs on both of these iPads, which still look great. I have, like I mentioned, no problems with either one of these iPads. I've never felt like one iPad was super cheap. And between these two, they kind of feel more similar than not. You know, they both feel almost exactly the same, which is pretty funny. So if you want an iPad that's going to be the best, you know, feeling iPad in the world, they're both going to feel probably the same but the iPad 9 is probably the better way to go. Now, one of the biggest differentiating factors between these two iPads, besides the release date and all that, is actually the cameras, but specifically the cameras on the front. But the back cameras are pretty much the same. So we have an eight megapixel sensor on the back. I'm not really too sure why they haven't improved this back camera yet because they are pretty much the same exact thing. You can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second on both of these cameras. So like I mentioned, you're really not getting an improvement on either one of these cameras, which is kind of annoying. You know, you would kind of expect Apple to keep improving this back camera, you know, making some improvements here and there. They really haven't done that, which is pretty annoying. However, on the front cameras, this is where things are a little bit different. The front of the iPad 6th generation has a 1.2 megapixel lens, where the front of the iPad 9th generation has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So you're getting a much better higher resolution camera that can shoot 1080p at 60 frames per second on the iPad 9th generation than on the iPad 6. Is it a big difference? Absolutely. This is a massive difference from the front cameras. With that new iPad 9th camera, you can actually utilize that center stage functionality, which is amazing. That actually allows you to pretty much be in focus at all times when you're on FaceTime calls and other video calls. The iPad 6th generation doesn't have it, and the front camera on that iPad isn't really that good either. So you're definitely getting a much better camera from the iPad 9th generation than on the iPad 6th generation, and this is one of the bigger differences between these two for sure. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up on the you know camera side of things. Now another big difference is the longevity. In terms of software, you are going to be getting a longer lasting you know iPad from the iPad 9th generation than on the iPad 6th generation. And the main reason for this is the chipsets within these iPads. So with the iPad 6th gen, you know you have that Apple A10 Fusion chip inside of it. With the iPad 9th gen, you have that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it. So you are getting many more versions or potentially many more versions of software extra on the iPad 9th gen than on the iPad 6th gen. So what does that mean? Well, essentially, if you pick up both these iPads today, the longer lasting iPad will end up being that iPad 9th generation. So again, that is a pretty big thing to keep in mind as well. So if you want the longest lasting iPad, I would definitely recommend picking up that iPad 9th generation for sure. Now, another big thing to keep in mind is the performance between both of these iPads. Now, the iPad 6th gen has that Apple A10 Fusion chip inside of it with two gigabytes of RAM where the iPad 9th generation has an Apple A13 bonding chip inside of it with three gigabytes of RAM. So straight from the numbers, you may not think that the 9th gen iPad is a crazy better performing iPad. And I will tell you the 6th gen iPad is still pretty decent. You know, I think that's actually a pretty decent iPad when it comes down to it. It definitely isn't perfect, 
but I think it's gotten the job done for the most part, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of the 6th gen iPad. When it first came out, it had one of the newer chipsets of that time. I mean, it was already two years old at that moment, but it wasn't severely behind because the 9th gen iPad already has pretty much the same type of chipset design as the 6th gen had when it first came out. You know, the Apple A15 bionic chip is already out, and that iPad has the Apple A13, so it's two generations behind. The same thing within 2018, the A12 came out, and this thing has the A10, so two versions behind. Now, the 6th gen iPad's performance is still extremely good, like I mentioned. You can practically do anything on this iPad, and it'll still handle everything you throw at it. The two things to keep in mind, though, that are kind of limiting it, it definitely isn't a performance-heavy iPad. You know, this is definitely not the one you would pick up to get the best performance from an iPad. That would probably be the iPad Pro, even from 2018, that thing is a monster. You do have 2 gigs of RAM on this thing, which is still good enough, but it's quickly becoming an outdated, you know, you know, amount of RAM. We already have six gigs of RAM on our iPads and the same amount of RAM on our, you know, iPhones. So two gigs of RAM are starting to become, you know, outdated and obsolete. And that A10 Fusion chip is the same thing as the iPhone 7. So it's definitely not the fastest chipset, but it's still pretty decent. But the iPad 9th Gen is definitely that faster iPad. It's definitely a very good upgrade coming from that iPad 6. Now with the iPad, you know, 9th Gen, you have the same chipset as the iPhone 11, which is, you know, pretty fast in and of itself. You also have an extra gigabyte of RAM than the iPad 6th Gen. So that's another pretty big improvement. Like I mentioned, when you have something like an iPad 9, even though it's the cheapest iPad Apple makes brand new, you can easily pick up this thing and then move on with your life for the next couple of years and not have to worry about picking up another iPad because the performance of this thing is still very good. So like I mentioned, that in and of itself is one of the biggest things to keep in mind and one of the biggest takeaways from the iPad 9th gen. It's a much better performing iPad than the iPad 6th generation for sure. So in terms of performance, that pretty much covers it up here. Now ending it off with the battery life, surprisingly, the iPad 6 generation at a smaller size and an older iPad has a bigger sized battery than the iPad 6 generation. Now I still find that the iPad 9th generation's, you know, battery life is better. You know, I feel like the more optimized chipset, the, you know, better performing, whatever, it's definitely better, I think, on the iPad 9 at now, also because of the degradation in iPad OS 15 on the iPad 6 gen. But it's still surprising to me that Apple didn't increase the battery size on this iPad, at least from the spec sheet. I feel like they could have easily, you know, went ahead and increased the battery size. They could have made some improvements, especially considering that the iPad's 9th generation is at a bigger size than the iPad 6th generation. So that doesn't really make too much sense to me. I don't know why Apple does all this flippy floppy kind of stuff, but what are we going to do about it? There's nothing we can really do as of this point. So in terms of battery life, I would still give it to the 9th gen iPad, but the 6th gen does have a bigger size battery, which is very, very strange. So in terms of that, that covers it up here. It's kind of sum up this video. You know, if you have an iPad 6 generation, should you go and update to an iPad 9 or should you just keep your 6 gen iPad? Well, this is what I'll tell you. I do think that the iPad 6 generation is still a decent iPad. You know, it still has some things going for it. It's definitely not outdated, but that 9th gen iPad is definitely a better iPad for sure and a really big improvement coming from the other iPads. You know, if you have an iPad 6 gen, you should look into updating your specific device. It's not that the iPad 9th generation is, you know, exponentially better or it's the best iPad. It's mostly due to the fact that that iPad 6th gen is slowly starting to show its age. Within the next two years, it's probably going to be outdated with software. So it's either you update now or you update next year. And even then the iPad 10th gen may come out and that may be a way better iPad too. So we'll kind of see what happens. We'll kind of play it by ear. But as of right now, I will tell you, I think the iPad 9th generation is a far better iPad than the iPad 6th for sure. So and in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.